What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Polish Pickup June 2021. This month's theme is rainbows. I have a few items to show you guys today. Wishlisting is currently open right now, so I hope this video uh, helps you guys in generating your wish lists. Don't forget, per usual, I will be having my giveaway. So I will be picking 10 random winners through a comment picker for this channel. All you gotta do is leave a comment below, and I will pick randomly 10 of you to win a $10 PPU gift code. I'm going to have the giveaway run from the moment this video goes up, up until Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Time, and I will do a pinned post. So keep an eye out for that, and let's dive right into the swatches. First up is 1422 Designs, up for the mystery tour. This is described as a spicy orange crelly with copper sparks, blue flecks, and gold, green, orange to red shifting flakes. This is inspired by the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour album cover. Price is $12.50, and there's a cap of 100 bottles. So this has a very crelly formula to it. It does lean just a bit more on the jelly side, in my opinion. And depending on your nail length and how you apply, you'll definitely want to take it up between two and three coats. The second coat for me, I could see quite a bit of my smile line. So I went up to a third coat and it covered up for me pretty well. I do agree with the official description that this is a almost burnt orange sort of pumpkin-y type of color. And it's quite vibrant but it's got this almost dusky feel to it as you build it up. The flakes are of the smaller variety, so you'll get that nice shredded, almost speckled-like effect, and they are a little bit less dense. So definitely going to be your preference, especially with how prominent your free edge is if you have one. This dries down flat, so you're seeing a glossy top coat on my full hand shot. And next up is Alchemy Lacquers, Sphere of Iridescence. This is a bright purple jelly lacquer packed with gold to green to turquoise to blue iridescent flakes and gold to green to turquoise to blue shifting shimmer. This is inspired by the iridescent surface of a soapy water bubble. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 200 bottles. So this has a very interesting formula to me in that it feels very curly like but when it dries down on its own, you can kind of see it between my coats, it dries down quite matte. So if you are a glossy person like myself, then I would strongly suggest a really good glossy top coat to top this off. This is pretty shifty in person and in indoor lighting, you're gonna see quite a bit of that golden sort of shift to it but at angles, it easily shifts over to green and turquoise and a touch of blue. So in mostly shaded lighting, you'll see that. Now for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. I personally found that a third coat helped to deepen out the base color and next is Angel Wings Creations. This is a Manny Planner notepad and a washi sticker set. Price on this is 10 and there's gonna be no cap. So I wanted to show you guys how this comes wrapped. It's adorable. And the little Manny Planner here is so cute. And it comes with these washi stickers. So the washi stickers are uh, long pieces of almost like tape and you can use them. You can uh, cut them if you want for each of the decals on them or uh, just however. Now the pen I'm using to write in here is actually also from this brand. I went to her shop because I was so impressed with it and I was like, I want to see what else she's got. This is so, so cute. So uh, the shop is currently what uh, from what I saw on hiatus right now, but hopefully she'll be back soon in her normal shop if you guys are interested in also grabbing this pen. I am so impressed with this little notepad. It's so cute. It's got all types of info on it if you want to uh, get some ideas down for any inspirations. I know I personally sometimes have shower thoughts and I'm like, oh, this manual will look really cute and then I forget. So this is a really cute idea that you can write down your inspirations. It's got notes, it's got to do, it's got your main color, uh, posting times, nail art type, stamping plates, all that good stuff. And you can see here, uh, my to-do list was to uh, quickly swatch, edit, and post this video as soon as possible. And just overall really cute. I thought it was adorable. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else Angel Wing Creations uh, brings to the table. And next is Aurora, Mermaid with Love. This is a flaky bomb fit for a mermaid packed with geometric pigment and UCC flakes. This is inspired by a mermaid decal. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 300 bottles. 
So this is what I consider a very densely packed micro glitter. It's quite strong on the sparkle factor. This dries down very thirsty, very flat. So I'm strongly going to suggest a glitter smoothing top coat underneath a glossy top coat to smooth this one out. Now I personally, at least for myself, had a touch of the flakes roll a little bit for me, but I was able to press them down flat. So they're very metallic, almost foil-like feeling, but if you go in a little uh, aggressive, for lack of better words, on your brush strokes, you might have that issue as well. But again, they're easy to just kind of tap down with the brush and they'll lay flat for you. But I figured it was worth mentioning regardless. So on my full hand shot here, you are seeing a glitter smoothing top coat. And next is Baroness X Ultraviolet, hello new label. This is described as a violet jelly base with silver magnetic polish, hollow flakes, and the long lost original unicorn pea sister pigment. It shifts from a hot pink to copper and has the same glass like tiny particle glow like the original unicorn pigment. This is inspired by its namesake, price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So to go along with that gorgeous new logo, uh, this polish really packs a punch. It's very pretty. I think it looks fantastic unmagnetized and then when you magnetize it the magnetic pigment is this really pretty silvery sort of color now this is absolutely a true ultraviolet very pigmented type of purple so when you go in with a top coat i'm going to really note that it's going to kind of soak in from just from being so pigmented that your magnetic line is going to look very glowy like what you see on my full hand shot here I think maybe using a water-based top coat underneath your normal top coat might prevent that from happening. But personally, I thought it looked really, really cool. And Baroness X is also bringing us a Charmeuse top coat. This is a satin-like top coat that has a similar formula to Hydromancy. Price is $8.50 and there is no cap. So this is absolutely a satin-like finish. It's not so much matte, but it's going to leave you with this semi-gloss but semi-mattifying sort of effect. It absolutely has a similar formula to Hydromancy. P.S. If you haven't tried that one out, 10 out of 10 recommend. And as you can see on my full hand shot here, it just kind of satins everything out and gives you that softer sort of appearance. Again, I thought it looked really cool with Ultraviolet. And by Danny Viana brings us Magical Amour. This is a mahogany sheer base with a strong aurora shimmer and pink iridescent flakes inspired by the maker's ants armoire. Price is 13 and there is a cap of 300 bottles. So this has a jelly-like formula to it and is, again is really going to depend on how you wear it. So at two or three coats, you'll definitely see a difference in how that base color pops. This is very much packed full of shimmer. It's going to give you this nice coppery orangey sort of glow and at angles there's a pinky sort of appearance with it. And when you build it up, it's uh, what I would consider a very strong, warm leaning type of copper overall. The flakes are also of the warm type of color roll. And this one dries down flat and somewhat metallic like. So I'm going to suggest a glossy top coat. And by Danny Viana also brings us this really cute travel bag. I'm in love with this thing. It's so cute. It's got these rainbow little cords here that you can pull for a drawstring effect. Price on this is going to be 15 and there's a cap of 35 only. This is fantastic for traveling and you can stuff so much things in here. So real quick, I'm just showing you guys uh, some of the PPU shades I swatched and you just kind of put it into the little pockets in here and it can hold quite a few. So I personally uh, tend to do my mom's nails quite a bit and uh, I always bring my goodies with me and this will absolutely get used for that. You can stick top coats in here. Uh, I'm putting a file in here. I also liked that I could stick some cotton balls in there and uh, some balm and all that good stuff and then you just draw it, string it up together and you're good to go. Really really cute and that print is just something else it's precious and i'm in love with this thing and it's so so cute and cameo colors lacquers brings us only bad witches are ugly this is described as a peach toned light pink curly full of scattered hollow sparkle and pink to peach to gold shimmer a smattering of rose gold micro flakes small and micro silver hollow glitters and silver hollow micro flakes inspired by glinda the good witch price is 11.50 and there is a cap of 105 bottles 
So this has a very curly formula to it. it. Leans just a touch on the jelly side on the first coat, but as you'll see in a moment on the second coat, it builds up very quickly. I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most. This is such a soft, delicate pink, absolutely matches up, in my opinion, to Glinda's dress and has just a lovely, delicate sparkle factor to it as well. In the sunlight, this is absolutely gonna give you that nice twinkling effect. Now it dries down flat, but not so much thirsty or textured. So I think any really glossy top coat is going to be perfect to finish this one off with. And Crystal Knockout brings us Glass and Glimmer. This is described as a deep teal to pale aqua thermal with holographic sparkle, metallic turquoise micro flakes, teal holographic micro glitter, and gold flakes. Inspired by Florida's Rainbow Springs, price is 11 and there is no cap. So this has a very dense jelly-like feel on application. It's quite sparkly in person and builds very quickly. Now I'm going to suggest three coats on this one. This may depend on your preference, but I think that third coat really helped to bring out so much more sparkles than say stopping at the second coat. Now this dries down quite flat, not so much textured or thirsty, but again, I'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat. The thermal properties to this one uh, are what I consider in the similar color palette, but they are quite obvious in person. In a moment on the ice water shot, I think it'll give you a good idea of how it'll look if you especially if you have a free edge. So both colors, in my opinion, are quite flattering. They are of the somewhat cooler tone, especially on the cold state. And uh, as you can see on my full hand shot here, adding a glossy top coat just kind of helps to bring all those sparkles out. And then here on the ice water shots, you can see it's definitely very light to a very cooler sort of teal appearance. And Cupcake Polish brings us no place like home. This is a medium blue jelly polish filled with silver holographic flakes, red to gold iridescent flakes. This is inspired by Dorothy's iconic blue gingham dress. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a true jelly-like formula to it. And for opacity, I'm gonna suggest three coats. You'll see here in just a moment that when you go up to that third coat, it just plumped out really well and offers quite a bit of a dense sparkle effect. The flakes in here are of the smaller variety, so it gives you this very speckled sort of iridescent color roll with them. And it dries down flat, but not textured as these are uh, flakies that are of the smaller size. So I think a really good glossy top coat for this one is perfect as well. Um, I don't think you'll be fighting so much with texture or anything like that, but overall really nice smooth finish on this one. And Cuticula brings us Dash Landing. This is a bright baby blue with a rainbow of iridescent flakes, contrasting ultra chrome flakes and small platinum flakes. This is inspired by Rainbow Dash, price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this has a true jelly-like formula to it. It's got a strong squishy factor and for opacity, I think between two and three coats. Per usual, I think that uh, with Cuticula's Flakies, they are so packed and just so mosaic-like that I think three medium to light coats will be perfect for this one too. So it'll give you that pond effect between your layers. You can kind of see them build up in between, very pretty. And the iridescent effect from those flakes are just something else. Very strong rainbow-like effect. And I think it's very much true to the inspiration. Now on the third coat here, you can see it's plumping out really well. And to prevent any sort of over buildup, I'd suggest going in lighter on your coats. Now Cuticula is also offering her limitless top coat this month in the scent Mermaid Munchies, which has top notes of Valencia Orange, California Lemon, and Honeydew Melon, middle notes of Wild Red Berries, Palm Leaf, and Water Lotus, with bottom notes of Pink Jasmine, Vanilla Orchid, and Apple Blossom. So this is a thicker sort of top coat. I have featured it on the channel before. It's a fantastic top coat. It's not super quick dry per se, but it leaves you very, very glossy and smooths everything out. This month's smells very lovely and it's absolutely wonderful. For me, the scent typically lasts between one and two days. And Dom Nail Polish brings us Gold Digger. This is an ultra hollow glitter bomb with gold and bronze glitters and some hints of pink. It also has a subtle, silver linear hollow base price is 12.50 and there is a cap of 200 bottles 
So this absolutely has a very full coverage sort of glitter effect. It's quite sparkly in person. And when you build it up, it takes on this almost neutral sort of gold feeling. And it's absolutely wonderful. I want to say in some lighting, it almost takes on a champagne sort of overall color finish. And the glitters, again, quite sparkly in this one. This didn't dry down very textured for me, but it is a touch thirsty. So I'm going to suggest a really good glossy top coat to finish this one off. I personally didn't see a need to use a glitter smoothing top coat, but definitely going to depend on the top coat you're finishing off with, especially if it's of a thinner consistency. So for opacity, I think two to three coats is perfect and you'll see so much sparkles and rainbows with this one. And Different Dimension brings us Space Rainbows. This is a bright pastel pink when warm to a bright amethyst when cold thermal loaded with gold to orange to pink to green color shifting iridescent flakes, pink to orange to gold to green aurora shimmer, and hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by the maker's logo. Price is 12 and there is no cap. So this has a very dense, creamy, smooth formula to it. Very nice. Self levels very, very well. Dries down flat and for opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats on it. It plumps up so quickly and you can see on the second coat here, just absolutely satisfying. Now the thermal properties to this one are quite strong and they're very, very obvious between the cold and the warm state. Now you are seeing a glossy top coat applied on my full hand shot here and with the ice water shot you can get a good idea of that warm state and the cold state. It's quite obvious in person. And Different Dimension is also bringing us a cuticle oil duo. We have the Two Cents Pineapple Cilantro and Macintosh Apple. Price is seven for both. Now, I really like Different Dimensions cuticle oil. I've been using it quite a bit throughout the day and it has a thicker consistency to it. You want to just kind of twist until you get a little bit of a drop like what you see here. And a little bit goes a long way in my opinion. So don't mind my stained nails at this point in the month. And don't forget, if you have a free edge, make sure you are applying cuticle oil to the undersides of your nails. You want them to be nice and bendy and very moisturized and just let it soak in really, really nice. I personally love that pineapple cilantro scent. Very interesting and I can absolutely get both scent notes in it. And Fair Maiden Polish brings a sparkle like you mean it. This is a bright ultramarine blue packed with a variety of hollow sparkle. This polish was designed with glitter flake, which allows a hollow sparkle to lay flat, then traditional glitter. This is inspired by Rainbow Bright, price is 11, and there is no cap. Now, I know I'm blue biased and I know that most of you are expecting me to rave about this one and uh, you're not wrong. I'm highly considering getting a backup of this one. It's so gorgeous, so much depth and sparkle and very easy to build up. So quite a holographic effect with it. And it's, I mean, it's just something else. Now, because it's hollow flakes, as opposed to just straight up true glitter, it's not going to dry down overly thirsty, but I'm still going to suggest a really good glossy top coat. This is a just incredibly vibrant medium blue sort of base. Um, I humbly, humbly asked for uh, an entire collection of different bases in this finish. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you're a sparkle lover like myself, or even a blue lover, this is um, just definitely something else. And Femme Fatale brings us clouds from a lullaby. This is a washed out blue tinted base with pink to green multi-chrome shimmer, a twisting orange magnetic pigment, and golden hollow glitters. This is inspired by a music box with a rainbow on it. Price is 14 and there is a cap of 370 bottles. So this has a very dense metallic sort of feel on application, very easy to build up. And I honestly think it looks perfect unmagnetized too. But uh, if you want to see that magnetic effect, I'm going in with that ring magnet once again, and it gives you this really nice golden orangey, almost burnt orange type of magnetic effect with a strong green lean to it. So really pretty color roll there on the warmer side. And the background is this nice dusky sort of brownish effect. The glitters in this one are quite sparkly. So again, you'll see quite a bit of a sparkly effect. 
and this one dries down quite flat. So I'm gonna strongly suggest a really good, somewhat thicker, glossy top coat, and don't forget to magnetize after your top coat. And Glisten and Glow brings us Rainbow Bridge. This is a medium cream base polish loaded with rainbow flakes inspired by its namesake. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this one has a uh, very crelly sort of formula to me. I do think it leans just a touch more on the uh, jelly side and it's got quite a bit of a squishy factor. Now for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats, depending on how long your nails are and how you go in with your coats, whether it's light or medium or heavy, what have you. I will strongly suggest going in lighter on this one because it does have that strong squishy effect. You wanna prevent any over buildup. Just let it slowly build and you'll get quite a bit of a strong flaky effect too. So really pretty iridescent effect there. And as you build it up, it takes on this nice dusky sort of lavender feel to the base color. Now this one dries down uh, quite flat, so you're gonna wanna use a glossy top coat here and it also helps to have that strong iridescent effect come out. And this month, Glisten and Glow is also bringing us her cuticle oil and remover duo. Both of these will be 12 and there is no cap on them. And I have featured these quite a bit on the channel. I've recently discovered that the cuticle remover pens are fantastic for petties. Now, I will never show you guys my feet on this channel, but they really help with getting cuticle remover, especially because the formula to the remover has this very jelly-like feel to it. So it stays where you put it, less mess, especially if you're doing it on your toes. And um, I personally have loved it for that. Now, you want to leave this on your nails for uh, roughly a minute and then go in with some type of tool, whether it's a metal shovel tool. I personally like to use a glass stick. This is from the uh, PPU shop. Uh, more info on when these will be uh, restocking. We're trying to figure out inventory numbers with that but I digress. So then go in, remove any excess. And uh, I also like to use a cuticle nipper to get any sort of hangnails off after this process. Then you'll want to wash your hands really good with soap and water. And then finally, I like to go in with the towel when I'm drying and just kind of gently rub backwards a little bit to kind of further any sort of hangnails if there are any to get them up. And then go in and file, do all your business with that, and then finish off with the cuticle oil. Now, Glisten and Glow's cuticle oil is what I would consider on a medium to somewhat lighter viscosity, and it soaks in really easily. I recently put a comment that when choosing a cuticle oil or balm, um, you're definitely gonna have to try out different brands to see what works for you, as in my opinion, uh, they're not created equally. And Hearts and Promises brings us Passion, Vitality, Enthusiasm, and Security. This is a cherry red Lanier hollow sprinkled with hollow red flakes inspired by the red in a rainbow. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 200 bottles. So this feels like a very juicy sort of jelly on application. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on it. I think it really allows that base color to pop very well. And I would also agree with the uh, official description. This is a true cherry red, in my opinion. It does have a touch of a warm lean in person. And when you build it up, you'll see uh, those little metallic flakes here. They are of the smaller variety and they're quite sparse. So you'll get this very not dense sort of speckled appearance with them. I think on my full hand shot, it'll give you guys a good idea of that. This dries down semi-gloss. So honestly, I think any top coat will be perfectly fine with it. And next is Lemming Lacquer. She was a rainbow. This is a purple magenta jelly base packed with shimmer, shifting gold to copper to green to blue, inspired by a quote from a book. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So this has a very satisfying, smooth application to it. Very easy to build up. Now, I'm really going to point out that this is going to appear quite different whether you wear it at two or three coats. I personally thought that it built up very well in the second coat and I stopped and it gave me more of this louder sort of appearance. Going up to a third coat, I could absolutely see how this one would come off more of that purpley, magenta, almost vampy type of lean. But Again, I thought two coats was perfect. Definitely gonna depend on your preference. The shimmer in this is very, very strong. And in indoor lighting, it takes on this orangey and gold coppery effect with an easy shift over to green and blue. So very, very shifty there. Now this one does dry down quite flat. 
even though it's got a very smooth formula to it. So you are seeing a glossy top coat. And Luna Wax brings us scoopable wax in the scent Double Rainbow all the way. This is inspired by the Double Rainbow guy with scents in strawberry, raspberry, pineapple, sugarcane, and cotton candy. Price on this is $10.50 and there's a cap of 100 of these. This smells so so good. Um, it comes way better packed than this. I honestly opened it up before because I really do get excited about, uh, especially Luna Wax. Her stuff is awesome. Um, the throw is fantastic. With the scoopable wax, you just pick up what you need and put it in your warmer. And this one also comes with these adorable little white rainbows in here too. So these little embeds and um, just wonderful. I think each of the colors has their respective scents and blending them together with the cotton candy and the fruity notes. It's wonderful. 10 out of 10. Strongly recommend this wax brand, especially if you're new to wax. And MJ Lacquer brings us nothing but blue skies. This is a white base curly with rainbow UCC flakes infused with crystal blue hex glitters, a splatter of micro silver glitter, and sprinkled with cyan to indigo aurora shimmer. This is inspired by the maker's love of blue. Hello, nice to meet you. And the price will be 12 and there's a cap of 175 bottles. So this is a really adorable Crelly. I do agree that the base is what I consider a true sort of white. I'm not really seeing much of a lean to it in person. And the glitters in this are quite adorable. They're of these different sort of blues. And there's a touch of these um, UCC flakes in here as well that they're gonna give you that nice warm sort of color roll with that. Now this one dries down quite flat and just a touch thirsty. So depending on the top coat, I'm gonna strongly suggest going in with a glitter smoother on this one. Not so much because of the glitters are making it gritty per se, but just because it has so much heavier pigments to it that you'll want to just help level everything out. And MLF Lacquer brings us Rainbow Sunset. This is a coral base with blue to purple to pink to gold, color shifting iridescent flakes purple shimmer and silver hollow flakes price is 11 and there is a cap of 200 bottles so the formula to this is very crelly like very smooth easy to build up now the base color in my opinion and it could be my eyes but i think this definitely has a coral feel to it but i also feel like it's got a warm pinky sort of tone as well i know that coral typically is a color that uh, seems to be one that people are going to perceive quite differently but to my eyes i'm seeing coral but a strong pinky tone to it now for opacity i'm going to suggest two coats on it builds up very easily dries down flat so i'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat to finish this one off and nail artisan cosmetics brings us rainbows to riches this is a bright irish green base with shifting gold to peach shimmer a sprinkling of iridescent flakes this is inspired by the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow price is 13.50 and there's a cap of 200 bottles so this has a very jelly like formula however it is so satisfying and rich and dense on application i'm going to suggest between two and three coats depending on how you polish you'll see in here in just a moment that it built up really well for me on the second coat this is very glowy in person i mean it's something else the shimmer is quite strong you'll get this very strong strong gold to peach sort of appearance depending on your lighting and the iridescent flakes also play up against that base color too so quite vibrant in person this dries down semi-flat so i think any top coat will be perfectly fine with it it's got a touch of a metallic feel so uh, just going to depend on your top coat and nailed it brings us magical menagerie this is a gray base with an indigo tint and a mix of rainbow crystal flakes this is inspired by the supernatural episode plucky penny whistles magical menagerie price is 13 and there is a cap of 300 bottles so this has a very very dense like feel on application it's I mean, it, this is packed full of flakes. It's got that strong mosaic-like effect when you build it up. I'm gonna suggest going in quite light on your coat to prevent any sort of over buildup. And it'll also allow you to get those flakes to spread and it's really, really lovely. So this dries down quite flat. So you're gonna to wanna to use a somewhat thicker glossy top coat to seal this one up. And for opacity, I think two coats is going to be perfect. Again, this is so packed full of flakes. You want to prevent any uh, over buildup. And again, on my full hand shot, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied. And Night Owl Lacquer brings us Colors Are Everything. This is described as a fuchsia base with purple to red shimmer and a rainbow of crystal chameleon flakes. This is inspired by Kesha's song Rainbow. Price is 13 and there is no cap. 
So this has a very smooth jelly-like feel on application and this one's really going to depend on how many coats you wear it at for how deep that base color comes out. I personally stopped at two coats but I think if you go up to a third coat it'll absolutely come up with this somewhat darker vampier sort of appearance. It's quite vibrant in person, really glowy on the shimmer factor, and the flakes give you this nice iridescent effect. Really gonna depend on your preference, but I personally thought that two coats was perfect. It does dry down quite flat, so you're gonna wanna use a good glossy top coat. And as you can see on my full hand shot here, really strong iridescent effect with the flakes, and that shimmer gives off this strong luminous purple sort of appearance. And polish brings us love is love. This is described as a sky blue cream with dense hollow flakes and red to copper to green shifting pigment. $2 of every bottle sold will be donated to the human rights campaign. Price is $13.50 and there is no cap. So this has absolutely a very satisfying, smooth, creamy feel on application. It does have a bit of a crelly lean to it, but it builds very quickly to opacity. I'm going to suggest two coats on it. The base color is absolutely what I would consider a light but sky blue sort of color. Really pretty and flattering. The shimmer is being a touch subtle on my swatches, but in person you can see this nice reddish sort of fine particle in the backdrop with a lovely green shift at extreme angles so you can see on the second coat just how wonderful this one is self leveling and it dries down semi flat so honestly I think any top coat will be perfect with this one and pampered polishes brings us colors of the wind this is a blush toned mauve crelly packed with red to blue to bronze to copper to gold and platinum metallic micro flakes and holographic shimmer and hollow micro flakes this is inspired by Pocahontas. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has what I would consider a jelly-like formula. It's quite smooth on application and I'm gonna suggest going in light on your coats to prevent any over buildup. This is really interesting that the base is what I consider a very neutral sort of tone, especially against myself. It leaned very much on this neutral bordering on being a nude sort of mauve. And when you build it up, you'll see this really tiny speckled effect of different colors in the background. The metallic flakes are also of the finer particle size. So you'll get this really, again, very fine, dense sort of appearance in the backdrop. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on it to really help that base color pop very well and finish off with a glossy top coat to smooth out the flakes. And Penelope Loose brings us Soap Bubbles. This is a multi-chrome magnetic with iridescent flakes. Inspired by its namesake, price is 13 and there is a cap of 500 bottles. So this has a really squishy sort of jelly feel on application. I'm strongly going to suggest going in light on your coats to prevent any sort of over buildup as again, this is really plumping. Now, personally, I think this one would be excellent as a topper over dark undies, but if you want to wear it on its own, like what I'm doing in the video, I'm going to suggest going in for three light coats. You'll see a strong magnetic effect with that pigment. And in the background, it has this dusky sort of blackish appearance. It's kind of on the lighter side. So again, I think this one's pretty versatile if you want to wear it as a topper or if you want to wear it on its own. So just go in light to prevent any over buildup as this is uh, quite thicker on how it dries down and all that good stuff. Remember on magnetics, you want to magnetize your glossy top coat layer as well to seal in your design. And Poetry Cowgirl Polish brings us There's Light After This. This is described as a dusty blue gray base with strong magenta to gold to green iridescent shifting shimmer inspired by a photo of a rainbow against a dark sky. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this has a very uh, jelly sort of feel in my opinion. And for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. This is very much one of those dusky sort of colors. I personally found that that third coat helped to deepen out the base color very, very well. The shimmer is quite strong. It's what I would consider more of a medium particle size. So it's quite obvious in person and in indoor lighting, it takes on this really nice reddish sort of appearance at angles. You'll see this lovely gold and green sort of color roll with it and it dries down semi gloss. So honestly, I think any top coat will be perfectly fine with it though because of the shimmer, I could also see this one looking really good mattified too.
And Pretty Beautiful Unlimited brings us Funfetti Rainbow. This is a white curly base loaded with glitter in various sizes and colors and topped off with a mix of three crystal chameleon flakes. This is inspired by Funfetti Cake. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 200 bottles. This one is so, so cute in person. There are so many fun glitter sizes in this one. And I do agree that the base color is a true stark white in my opinion. And it does dry down quite flat and just a touch textured. So depending on how you wear it and what type of top coat you're using, you may want to use a glitter smoother with it. Now this builds very quickly and I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most. And you'll see on my full hand shot here, I did go in with a very thin layer of glitter smoother underneath my glossy top coat and psych minerals brings us yellow brick road this month this is going to be 750 and has no cap so please note what you guys are going to get is going to be a cleaner sort of pot than that i will admit that i messed with it before i swatched it and it's just overall a very pretty flattering gold so i'm showing you guys on my arm here what it looks like using an eyeshadow primer and then what it looks like without now, the more I've been messing with Psych Minerals loose eyeshadow like this, the more I realized that I really like to use a patting method with my finger on my lids as opposed to a brush, and it just keeps everything quite straight. So you can see with primer here in just a moment, it really helps the pigment adhere very well to skin. I'm strongly gonna suggest using a really good sticky primer, and you can see it's very, very strong. Absolutely gorgeous, and it's very sparkly in person. Here real quick, you can see the uh, look that I did with it. And I think it's one of those golds that will look fantastic on just about any skin tone. And Rogue Lacquer brings us After the Storm. This is a purple toned gray crelly with a rainbow of metallic flakes and hollow flake shards inspired by rainbows after the storm. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is so, so cute. I do agree with the official description. The base is this purple tinged sort of gray. It builds very quickly to opacity and those flakes are so, so cute. For full coverage, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. Honestly, I thought that second coat was perfect. It built up very easily and it dries down flat, but not so much textured. So I think any top coat will be perfectly fine with this one. And it's got just this adorable, strong rainbow-like effect with all of those flakes, really cute. And everything behaved very nicely for me. I had no issues with the flakes. Everything laid down nice and flat. And Sassy Sauce Polish brings us Ray of Ducking Funshine. This is described as a bright cantaloupe shimmer with strong red to gold to green shift, loaded with ghost flakies that shift purple to red to gold. It's a hot summer color that has many faces depending on the lighting. I 10,000% agree with that. This is inspired by a photo of a sunrise. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of $400. This is a very, very interesting unique color to me i absolutely love it it's got a strong plumping factor so again i'm going to suggest going in lighter on your brush strokes to prevent any over buildup. i do agree with the official description this is a very neon sort of cantaloupe in person and um, just really going to depend on your lighting it's so interesting to me in indoor and duller lighting, it looks like an electrified mac and cheese color, but if you're in brighter lighting, it definitely has more of a true cantaloupe sort of look with it. On this third coat here, I did overbuild it just a touch, and then I cleaned off the brush on my full hand shot here and just kind of gently took off any excess. So you want to be careful with that. You're going to see a touch of your smile line, but totally worth it. And Scoflaw brings us Horse of a Different Color. This is a dark gray curly packed with black and neon small glitters. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is another really fun rainbow filled one. When you build it up, it takes on that very nice dark gray sort of appearance. And the glitters in this one pop so, so well against that dark base. Lots of colors here. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats on it. This dries down quite thirsty and a touch textured. So I think a very, very thin layer of glitter smoother is gonna be perfect underneath your glossy top coat. And it's just so cute. This one also kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Lisa Frank a bit in that it's just so cute with those neon glitters against that darker base. Lots and lots of fun prettiness here. 
And again, really easy to build up. Very wonderful application. And Sweet and Sour brings us Mosaic. This is a periwinkle sky blue curly with purple shimmer and blue, green, pink, and gold metallic flakes. This is inspired by a blue rainbow mosaic. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of $200. So this has a very curly like formula to it. Another really cute one in that as you build it up, I do agree with the official description. It takes on this very periwinkle, somewhat dusky sort of appearance. The flakes in this are super fun here too. They are of the smaller and medium variety, but it's packed full of these things. So you'll get that really strong, dense scatter across your nails. The shimmer pops really well against it overall. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats. It's definitely going to depend on how you polish, whether or not you stop at that second coat but if you go in light to normal like myself I think that third coat really helped to bring out the flakes in it and just really maximize the opacity and just overall popping factor for that base color now this one also dries down flat so you're going to want to use a good glossy top coat to finish off with now PPU is currently open for wish listing there's quite a bit to see this month I will link you guys below to that and the Facebook group if you want to get in there and see voting for uh, what August is going to be. Don't forget, July is Rewind Month. Makers will be bringing back two items for that. Be sure to subscribe to PPU TV where uh, Nicole and myself are on there constantly and we are always giving you guys updates. And we have a recent video where we break down what Rewind is. Now the shop will open for purchasing for this month, June 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern time and will run until June June 7th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, I'll break all this information down below for you guys, as well as timestamps if you need to go back and watch anything. If you're curious, my wish list right now, I had to really get this one down, like really bad. There's so much good stuff. Starting from alphabetical order, I've got Atomic Polish, Bees Knees Lacquer, Bluebird, Polished for Days, Vapid Wax, Off the Hook Creations, Cat Toy, and Fangirl Polishes, Rainbow Suncatcher. So really cute stuff, and that's not my final list, but I did have to trim it off quite a bit to keep it more uh, manageable. So Rainbow Month turned out to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, also note that quite a bit of the polishes and IPU items were inspired with LGBTQ plus in mind. And uh, we do have a PPU blog. I'll also link that below for you guys that breaks down what insp inspirations from what brands and which brands are also doing donations to charities, which I think is fantastic to have this uh, compiled list together if you want to check that out. And also sidebar too, before I leave you guys, please, please, please leave a comment below. Let me know what's on your wish list or just say hi in general. And again, remember, I will be choosing 10 random comments to win a $10 PPU gift code. I'm still missing three or four from last month. So please, please go check last month's video too to see if you are a winner. I am constantly hanging on to y'all's codes. So uh, definitely check those and don't miss out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.